In 2014, Nino decided, after shortcutting a lot of maps on his own, that he was going to make a team of players that he, he enjoyed playing similar maps with on a server. To join this team, they had a very simple concept. Either you shortcut our map, one of, the, one of these maps on a list that we couldn't do and you join, or you do a brand new Nadeo shortcut. Information wasn't as available back then. There wasn't like discords you could join. Discord wasn't a thing back then. You have the Trackmania Exchange forums, you had YouTube comments, and you had Skype. But it was kind of hard to communicate with, with other players on Skype. So figuring out what tracks fastest way only people were playing back then and like trying to, you know, get one was quite hard. I was already playing Trackmania for about a year when, when fast way only came to be and I, I really wanted to join from like the very beginning. So starting in like basically February 2014, I was actively trying to join, but I wasn't very good at the game back then. This shortcut's insane. There's a massive loop in the distance here that you have to drive through usually, but they found out you can jump here and just skip the entire thing, hitting the airship and redirecting. It's beautiful, 2014. This is one of my favorite, favorite cuts in the game, and you have to do this rotation to get the angle towards finish. It's really stunning. A lot of people have felt like, damn, joining Fastway only back then was like so much easier than it is now. And that might be true, but some of the early recruit maps that were done were really hard. This one looks like Edge loses, but he skipped the freewheeling somehow and then can just jump past. Bouncing with the car, but not the wheels. So no end enough. This, though, might be the easiest recruit map of all time. This is Nero's. And Nero has since done harder shortcuts, but the way he got recruited was like, I remember feeling this was a cheap one. Like, I remember feeling this because the original path is to bounce on the water pool, which slows you down, so you bounce here instead. But this wasn't like, yes, it's faster, but like, now I remember being jealous. I was 15 years old and jealous at the time when this happened. Like, come on, I was jealous. I was trying harder maps and he got in with that. This one, spectacular shortcut. Like, one of the coolest from that time. But what annoyed me, and I remember this, again, trying to join the team now for a couple of months. What annoyed me is this was done from uh, Oscar, Oski. And after joining, he kind of just quit the game for a while. So like he, he achieved what was my at 14, 15 years old biggest dream, and then he just dipped. Like I wanted to get in, get this map, get this map and other maps, and then like you know be a part of the team and hunt more maps. He just no, oh, okay, I, I I did it. Now I'm out. Like what? Look at this bounce. It makes no sense. Full face plant, get airtime, and then reverse into the finish. This is also insane. Like, this is one of the hardest recruit maps that have been done. Like, for the entire summer of 2014, every time I logged on to the, the server that people were hunting on, this map was on, and it's such a boring map. Crookie played this the entire summer. It was in September that he got this. You just do a small bug slide slash uber into the finish. But actually gaining time with this is so difficult. And it's complete brain rot. This is just mwah. Exceptionally cool shortcut. I did not play this map a lot, but I remember seeing it and thinking, okay, goddamn. Nitro earned his spot with this jump. Like what? Like what? Flipping into the turbine, getting pushed backwards, making the back right tire hit under to flip the car over. Boom, boom, and land up. This map. I was on the server when this happened. I was there live hunting the map. Work, buddy boy. I was there, chat. This is... Uh, 
I'm, was this, yeah, this was still 2014. I was here live trying to get this. This is Funny Bear's run. Let me, let me look this up. Yeah, 23rd November. GG Funny Bear with a big thumbs up. <laughs> and I think this is the, uh, the online chat logs. I'm pretty sure. Funny. Do you know how Luna aims his jump? Because I know the path, I just don't know the angle to jump at. XD. It's random. I don't think so. And then he just claimed the world record, and you see it's like a six second improvement. And I go, oh my god, nice! He says, welcome to fastest way only, GG. And then that, that's it. Thumbs up, funny bear, I am not jealous at all. I did not want to get this one myself, I promise. I promise. Yeah, he was on the server for seven minutes too, yeah. Huge bounce into the finish. One more time? Because you, you had to find the path through this mess, right? And then... Land exactly on this edge and fly into the finish. There are a few different approaches. This one is cool too. Um... This is Arconos' recruitment. And what happened was that, like, around this time, Fastway only was gaining some no notoriety, right? And so there were real members, but there were also people on online servers who just typed in fastest way only myself, you know? Like, if your name is Pablo, you'd say fastest way only Pablo. You can't stop me, I can change my name to fastest way only FWO if I want. And so, when we were hunting, there was this person who had changed his name to fastest way only Arcanos out of nowhere. And we were like, what? This guy is a fake. He's a fake. He's an imposter. But apparently he had played this map in Trekmania 2 and done the shortcut and gotten accepted by Nino, and none of us knew for a while. So keep in mind, like, during this time, there are still more Nadeo shortcuts that are happening than the ones that are shown. And what actually ended up happening a lot is that Fastest Way only members would also be the ones to do new Nadeo shortcuts. So like, everyone in the community, shortcut community, would hunt one map, but it was often a Fastest Way only member that got, got the run and beat a map. So during this time, I was hunting all these maps, and I basically got none of them. I mean, I got them, but not first. But I was part of all these hunts trying to get good times. Who is this? 2016. It took me like two years of trying on and off to join Fastway only. I tried so many maps at this point. But there we are. This is the map I joined on. Uh, there's a, a different video than this one. Because it, it might not look like that hard, it's just one Ramstein. But I, th I think I hunted this for somewhere close to 50 hours. Here is like a cloud of replays. So I got the bug like about 50 times and maybe once per hour. And out of all of those cars, there's only like three that make it to the road. Like getting one that flies far enough to get over this wall is really tough. Four actually. You still part of Fastway only? Yeah, you can't really get kicked. I can't remember anyone really getting kicked unless they cheated. I love Matt, but Matt got in cheap with this one. I love Matt, one of my favorite people in all of Trekmania, but after I grinded like 50 hours, I felt at the time he got in cheap with this one. He played for like an hour. And what it is, is, is a flip. It's- it's a ramp flip, a very sexy ramp flip at that. I get it, like, it's- it's nice, hey, it's nice, but, you know, compared to AO6, compared to Mr. Owl 14, compared to age 6, it just- it fell a bit flat. I should have done that instead, I should have, you know, it would have been more effective if I did that. This map! I was the first to do! I was first! I would like you to know, I had a bit of an incident. So, this is the map, right? It's F8. TM and race F8. This was the old world record by Onipla, normal way. Where you do this really precise uphill drift and then down the hill. And then tight part here, drift down the hill. And then you have to carry really good speed onto the blue edge, go onto the road, dodge the front part of this blue edge, and then jump across to the finish, right? And this is not the shortcut that we're trying to do. Um, not that one either. We're trying to hit the wall and bounce across and drive the rest of the run as normal. Basically this, right here. And just randomly, like, I was not 
of playing this one too much J just out of nowhere my friends i beat the record i i, I got it uh in my in my own words holy frick i got so lucky you have no ideas L let's take a look this is the bounce i got huge skip So you do the normal way, clip, get the booster, and then slam into spin into land with a lot of speed, and now I get stressed. I, this is the best bounce I've ever seen. I miss my drift, but not only that, I go late onto the blue. I am also a bit bad here, not hitting the exact approach, and then I flip upside down, and my entire lead almost diminished. Like, it, I, I had about half a second of a gap, and it got reduced to 0.10. So, so what happened is, like, th this run was still within range to be beaten normally. And so there was a small clause in the contract, if you will, where Aerisol was able to join. By beating my shortcut at a later time, with a much faster run, half a second faster, same type of slam, but then bouncing more to the right towards the booster. And actually getting an even better shortcut than the one I had, if I remember. And then nice no style as well for the finish. This map, like this shortcut, I never thought would, would be done. This was on the recruit list for years, like three or four years when it happened. Maybe even more. Yeah, it was on it for three years. Look at this by Monster Omega, although he changed his name to Alpo. Beautiful skip into the dirt area and then jump into panel bug fin. What? So far, after the wheel, only recruited players for cuts on Stadium. This is true. But on Christmas Eve 2017, that would change when Phil joined the team with these runs. So... Phil essentially shortcut so many maps in Trekmania United, even though Fastway only was a Stadium team, mostly, that it would be nonsensical to not accept him. But yeah, uh, basically Phil just kept doing shortcuts. Uh, th th this goes on. There's like 10 or 20 shortcuts total. I mean, it was ridiculous. And I don't mean to skip his accomplishments, but I, I want to show more players. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about this one. If you have not seen this, then I will let you experience it in full for yourself. Just so you know, this is the last checkpoint of the map. And this was the old shortcut. In lap three, you would jump out on the grass and you would climb over the wall to save like 2-3 seconds. This is how the map used to be played. The world record used to be 144.27, driven by Jav. And then, on the 25th of July, 2018, half us got this run. It is quite the spectacular run, let me tell you. Last lap, okay? He's, he's driven normal way. He's lost about 0.6 to Jav. He needs something spectacular to catch up. He's about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 behind at this point. What's he gonna do? This right here. A Uber bug across the entire map, landing perfectly at the finish line. Just a stellar shortcut. Like if you've never seen it, it's just, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. A well worthy recruitment. We have C8. By Logic 2018. These loops, like, I think so many people have had the idea to skip them. But it's it's really hard to find a good way to do it. Logic 
found out that he could hit the road piece, then bounce on this fence or scenery block, and then get pushed into the track point. And it would be faster to do this other strat, but much safer to hit the airship and and join fast way on. Oh, this map. Oh my god, classic. This was on the original recruit list from 2014, keep in mind. And this was done in 2019 by, by Koss. So this took five years. And at this point, like, Fastway only is, you know, more... More people want to join than ever. I tried this one and quickly gave up. Other people tried it, quickly gave up. Because what you have to do is... This shortcut right here. In this wall ride, jump up. No spug on this block and then land on this road. Okay. What else? What else? Well, uh, that's the entire thing. And you might wonder, like, wait, so this took five years. That doesn't look that insane compared to everything else. But the thing about it, you have to play in the internal camera perspective. So what you see when you attempt this is this right here. Like, just you look at the ground. Okay, you're all over the place. Oh, shit, we're on the road. But you could be, like, anywhere. This map. So what happened on this one, this was shortcut in 2015. It was actually a map I thought I could join Fastway only with, but Venom did it first, and then I did it second. Nixian did it third and beat my time again. And then Nust actually joined with a new variant of the shortcut. Jumping early on the grass and hitting the pillar from this side with way less speed, and it's... What's crazy is he doesn't touch. If you look at the car here, it does not touch the finish at all. It just glides beneath and still barely hits the hitbox. Okay, so now we're quite on the modern era. If you guys didn't know this, hard tack here. And, and a player we'll see later called Twins. They are both from Korea and they actually happen to be twins in real life. And they both played Trekmania and wanted to join Fastest Way Only. And they both did, which I find very wholesome. They were both just like, dude, we should try to join Fast Wailing. It's like, hell yeah. And then they and then they both got it. So hard tackle hey, with this one. Much love from Portugal. When are you visiting us? Reroute? When am I visiting Portugal? Nixel, I wanted me to join him uh, last year to go surfing. But I've never surfed in my life. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'll have to try it at some point. This shortcut, I think, is bittersweet to a lot of people. This run from Edge really felt sacred. And th there were two, like, shortcut ideas here. The first one was to jump and crash into this turbine, where my mouse cursor is, and get flung backwards over the wall. Like, the finish area is over this wall on the right side. But if you missed, you would kind of land in a bug slide angle. So the idea was like, okay, you land in a bug slide, you might as well bug slide on the grass and like just imagine if you hit a pillar and, and got a Uber bug from the pillar and flew up there like, haha, that'd be crazy, right? But then it actually happened. And like none of us could believe it because this was the meme idea if you failed, you would... But this actually happened. And it was like hailed as one of the, you know, just greatest shortcuts we'd ever had in the game. Like, that should not work. <laughs> I think if this route from Shmanuel here was not faster, a lot of people in, in Fastway only would still rate the edge cut as, like, the best one ever. But yeah, backwards bounce from the turbine. This is the faster way. Hitting here and getting pushed backwards over this wall. Another C14 recruitment. That run you saw from Hefa has got obliterated. I just seem to remember, since we have Hefa's in chat here, let me just... Not this one. This one. I seem to remember a comment. If someone beats that, I am quitting Trackmania. But he's still here. Just a little strange. Should have left three years ago. <laughs> he lied to us all. But you might be you might be wondering how Dennis actually did this. Like how do you beat? A record that looked so insurmountable. It was found out that in the first lap it's really difficult, but in the second lap you could do a skip that already saves you four seconds. 
Right here, you have a lot of speed, you bug slide already in the second lap. And you bounce on the road edge to skip this snaking turn here. And land with so much speed into the next lap. That, that jump right there is minus four seconds. And since you only lose minus two and a half with the old shortcut, you end up one and a half ahead. So you still have to hit that and then go for the one on the grass in the last lap. How long did that take? About 300 hours. I think Dennis said 300 hours for this one. Shablam. Nice comparison at the end as well. <laughs> this shortcut is fascinating if you don't know. This map was playable in Nations Forever, but it's originally from Nations before that in 2006. And the stadium car from back then is a little bit lighter, which is quite handy if you're going to do an overwall, such as Twins did here in the ending. Overwall here across to the finish. Only problem was, at the time, there was no way to access the old Nations game if you had modern operating systems. So he played this on a virtual machine, like a, like Windows inside Windows with 30 FPS and input delay, and still managed to do this boost skip at, at 30 FPS on a virtual machine. Crazy shortcut. But that's how Twins joined, so both Twins and Hardtack were now in the, in the team. And now, the man who made this video, want to give a, a shout out and, and hopefully you guys, if you're enjoying this so far, then go check out the original video from Urs. He, this is his recruitment to the team. And what's even cooler is Urs got the recruitment on a map that he himself found a shortcut idea on in 2014. In 2014, Urs suggested a F9 shortcut. Here, he thought you could do a bug slide. On, on the road all the way back here and then land back on the road and, and skip a few ramps. Very cool. But then, you know, in, in 2020, mid-COVID, with all the time in the world, he got an even better idea. This is peak COVID. This is when people were hoarding toilet paper. Trackmania players were too occupied just, just going for mad shortcuts. And Urs found this setup. Drift into flip into Uberbug across the map. Ridiculous shortcut. Oh my god, I mean, this is... I think people really gotta play this map to understand how, how difficult it is to do the shortcut. And one thing you don't even see in the video is that your cam 3 forced here. It changes to regular camera here. But for most of the setup, you are in forced camera 3. And then you have to get this bug slide into the finish. Across the end enough. Hardest game in F-Cut by far, yeah. Honestly, it's mental. This might also look trivial, but it is not. Again, forced, forced camera perspective. You have camera 3 force when you jump here. You can't see anything at all. And then you have to land the bug slide and drive the rest with camera 3. This would be the best map if it wasn't camera 3, yeah. Look at this. How nauseating must this be to hunt? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm almost- uh, maybe a small release, actually. Like, looking at this cloud pattern, I think I'm over-jumping it. I should probably release a little bit. Because I'm approaching the speck of dust in the- Oh, okay, there we go, yeah. Like, you don't see anything. And the clouds always move, by the way. They're never stationary. You can't even use them. I'm- I'm just memeing. This is crazy. This shortcut, one of the most beautiful ones to, to get recruited for. Just look at this run. He's coming up to the last checkpoint now, and there's a lot of turns before the finish that he would like to skip uh, with this. Boom. And that's the finish line. A perfect island Uberbug. From here, soaring across to another island. And like, exactly in this finish angle. Astonishing shortcut. I, this, I love this. I love this. 
this was the old shortcut. Beautiful overwall. Look at what this khaki legend did. Like, might not look like much just overwalling on the inside line, but if you slow it down, it is one Ramstein bug with the left front tire and then another with the back right tire, making the car first wobble and then hop up. It's two Ramstein bugs. Do you see this? First, the, the, the left front wheel lift, and then the back right lift. It's like an ollie, yeah, if you're a skater. Boom, boom. Found by uh, a tool assistant speedrunner first, and then replicated. Yeah, th this is the teleport slide. Like, Island has changed so much. Just look at what people are doing now in Island. This into that, and then you get huge speed. Oh, okay. okay aided. Yeah, but guys, back to, look at this. Bug slide, or teleport slide. Bouncing on the mountain next to the Starlink rocket and then through the finish. How does bug slide work with this car? You put the car more backwards than a bug slide and then you get these teleports. And you just get so much speed. I, I don't know how they work fully, but this is a beautiful one. Island B2. Wide setup, flick, Flick onto a rock over here and then bouncing into the finish. Look at this map, the main feature of it. Two big loops. You see this? Corkscrew. And then another one behind it. What does Alex do? Skip both of them. Jump here. Boom! And then all the way across, landing in the downhill of the second corkscrew. I love that. The fact that that's possible makes me very happy. It, it's like giving my brain carrots. Plus 100 carrots for that shortcut. But yeah, uh, these are all the Fastway only members. Huge shout out to Mr. Ors for putting all this together, rendering all the cameras. Do give the video some love, watch it yourself, maybe fall asleep to it. I, I'd say we reacted pretty hard.